The gods of all things strange have blessed humanity again. This time in Utah with the appearance of a monolith apparently buried deep into the bedrock. Wait till you hear this. Okay, the intrepid explorers go down to investigate the uh, alien life form. <laughs> They've cut it in. On November 18, 2020, the Utah Department of Public Safety Aereo Bureau was working with the Utah Division of Wildlife Resources to conduct a count of bighorn sheep in a portion of southeastern Utah. While on this mission in a helicopter, they spotted an unusual object and landed nearby to investigate further. Was it a satellite that fell from the sky, they had wondered as they approached the sleek looking anomaly. The crew members found a metal monolith installed in the ground in a remote area of Red Rock and they said there was no obvious indication of who might have put the monolith there or how they could have achieved such an undertaking. Apparently not revealing the exact location of the installation since it is a very remote area and if individuals were to attempt to visit the area there is a significant possibility they may become stranded and require rescue. With the Utah Department of Public Safety reminding the public that it is illegal to access the mysterious construction, encouraging anyone who knows the location of the monolith to not attempt to visit it due to poor conditions of access, and this has further added to the mystery of how this was installed. When? By whom? And why? As of the making of this video, no one has come forward to clear up what it might be, and Maybe it is the remnant of a more advanced culture than of our own. Maybe. At first glance, we see the advanced work of a futuristic sheet of monolithic mastership, but closer inspection reveals screws and bolts holding the monolith together. And this does unfortunately suggest it is a modern artistic rendering of an Egyptian monolith in Utah. The helicopter pilot, Bert Hutchings, told local news channel KSL-TV, that's been about the strangest thing I've come across out there in all my years of flying. One of the biologists is the one who spotted it and we just happened to fly directly over the top of it. He was like, whoa, 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 turn around, turn around. And I was like, what? And he's like, there's this thing back there. We've got to go look at it. The pilot said the object looked man-made and appeared to have been firmly planted in the ground, not dropped from the sky. The monolith and its setting resembled a famous scene from Stanley Kubrick's 1968 film in which a group of apes encountered a giant slab. Two crew members found themselves compelled to climb onto each other's shoulders in an apparent effort to see over the top of the rectangular cuboid, showing it must be around 10 feet tall. Some observers compared the monolith to the plank sculptures by artist John McCracken, who lived in New Mexico and New York until his death in 2011, with artist Liam Sharp summoning up the people's fascination, saying, I love this. I imagine it's an art piece, but what if it isn't? What if it's a message for us to find by otherworldly beings? Maybe some crash-landed alien being installed a transmission beacon at this location not so long ago, and to hope that their message would eventually be heard. But what do you guys think about this anyway? Comments below, and as always, thank you for watching. Okay, the intrepid explorers go down to investigate the uh, alien life form. <laughs> They've cut it in. <laughs> okay. Who does this kind of stuff? <laughs>
Yeah. It's interesting how it comes right, it's right at. Yeah. Pointing right at the rim of the track. Yeah. That is just wild. Huh.